Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Walk around lenses. Good walk around lenses. Uh, I didn't used to use have a, have a lot of use for a walk around lens because when I was shooting mostly weddings all the time, I needed a faster aperture zoom. So I usually was shooting with an f2.8 constant aperture zoom. Uh, nowadays, I really I really enjoy and make a lot of use of a more general walk around style lens. We've got a question here from Vasia Pupkin. And he writes in, he says, Hi, Matt, my name is Victor, and I am one of your subscribers on the YouTube channel. Okay, so it's Victor. Vasya Pupkin was showing up in the email. Uh, Please help me to make a final decision on my purchase of the right lens for my Nikon D610. I'm flying to Venice next month, and it'll be a long hours of walking around all day and night taking pictures. I use at the moment on my D610 a 50 F18D and a 70-300 F45-56 VR2 but I need something with a wide f1.8 or f2.8 aperture, uh, meaning a fast lens, and of course a wide angle to take nice and crispy landscape. Church, inside the historical buildings, shady places. I'm stuck in between a 28 to 300 uh, Nikkor, the 24 to 120 f4 Nikkor, uh, the 16 to 85 Nikkor, and the Sigma 17 to 50 or Tamron or Samyang. Which one to buy or would you recommend something different for my needs? I'm on a mid-range budget up to L500, around $570. Thanks a lot if you replayed to me. Victor from Manchester, UK. Kind regards. Thanks for your question, Victor. Um, first off, what jumps to mind right away is, I just want to point out to you, with the Nikon D610, that's a full-frame camera, and a couple of the lenses you listed are DX lenses, and they won't work on your 610. So the Nikkor 16-85, that's for DX, for crop sensor. Doesn't work on your camera. You're not gonna, you, you, could, you could actually damage it. So don't try that. Sigma 17-50, to 50, same thing. And then depending on the Tamron or Samyang, some of those may, some of them might. You didn't specify which lens. But those two, the 16-85 Nikkor and the 17-50 to 50 Sigma, they don't work on your camera on the D610. They're for DX bodies. So say the 7200 or the new 7500. Now, between the two, you need to decide. You've already got a very nice 70 to 300 VR2. And I believe that performs better at the long end than the Nikkor 28 to 300. I like the 28 to 300 as an all around general lens, but you've already got uh, the 7300. And, and as I said, at the long end, it performs better. It's a little sharper, a little less distortion than that super zoom, that 28 to 300. So my suggestion would be to stay with your 70 to 300 VR2. You've got a nice 50 F18D. And then what I would do is I would add the 24 120 F4. That lens, I've shot it on the 610. It works beautifully. The constant aperture F4 is very nice. The high ISO on the D610 is very capable. So F4 is very decent. Gives you 24 wide. So you got 4 mil wider than your option of the 28 to 300. So that gives you a better wide angle, which you were saying is something you were looking for. And 120 is still pretty decent on the long end and pairs up pretty nicely with your 70 to 300. So you're covered from 24 to 300 with those two lenses. That's what I would do. I really like that 24 to 120 f4 VR from Nikon. It's a very nice lens. Great f4 constant aperture zoom. Really like it. Good quality. And uh, it's one of my favorites. What would you guys do? Do you agree with me? Would you go with the 24 to 120 f4? Do you disagree? Would you go with the Nikon 28 to 300 f3.5 uh, to 6? 5.6? Five, six? Would you go with something else altogether? Would you go with a Tamron offering or a Sigma offering? Let me know in the comments below. Let's help out Victor. Let's help him make his decision on what lens to use here with his Nikon D610. Thanks again for your question, Victor. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.